Vega Daniels and welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a Jerf Avenue petite version clothing haul. These are all the things that I purchased myself and as a petite lady, I am 5'3", around 105 pounds. I'll leave my stats in the comments. Just, you know, when you're shopping, it's hard online, first of all. Second of all, when you're petite, you are altering a lot of things, so you just wanna know if your investment is worth it, essentially. If you're new to my channel and you're wondering, what the heck, I see so many different videos, what are you doing? Watch my YouTube channel trailer. I'm going to link it up here, too, as a card, so you will know the 411. In the meantime, you can follow me on Instagram for daily fashion outfits, since you're here for fashion. And let's just get right to it. The Jerf Avenue Petite Clothing Haul. Now we're just gonna go through some of the items that I've purchased to give you my tips and tricks on how they're keeping up and if I think they're worth it or not. Starting off with this gorgeous fruit robe. I'm gonna say this purchase was 100% worth it. Being a petite girl myself, I'm either buying for robes, children's extra, 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 extra large or adults extra small. And with the adults, I just find the sleeves are always so, so long. The length is so long. Whereas with the children's, it's always just a bit too short. It's kind of like this. Whereas this I find covers my proportions perfectly. So for that reason, I will be purchasing another one. I'm gonna stand just so we can see the full. It fits my body like a glove. This is the extra small slash small. Maybe I could have sized up, but this is 10 out of 10 for me. I'm just gonna stay in my robe for this entire video because why not? Let's talk about the Rufus t-shirt. This one, all of the funds have gone to charity, which I love. I got it in a size medium. It's 100% organic cotton. So if it happened to shrink and I throw it in the dryer, I'm covered. I've washed this a number of times. It's still holding up. Also a little juvenile for me because I like the classic aesthetic, but you know what? Every once in a while, bring out that inner child, right? Right? As for their t-shirts. So it's the same material, but what I find interesting with their shirts is that even if you size up, the length is relatively the same. It's more of just the width that is different. I was using this gray shirt to sleep in and it just, oh, it feels so good. Uh, <laughs> moving on. Now we are gonna talk about the denim. We've got the straight jeans in midi blue, which are these and the relaxed jeans in wash blue. So let's just talk about the differences. Originally, I got them in a size 27, but when I put them on on the butt, it was just like going right in. Even though the waist fit snug, and these are supposed to stretch, they do have stretch, they're not like a sturdy denim. Uh, I decided to go one size up. I did message customer service and they did say that they've never seen that happen in the butt area before. So I got these in a 28. At the back, we've got the Jerf Avenue logo and I did have to hem these pants. So that's an extra $15 slash $20 of tax added on to each pair of pants. Now for the relaxed jeans. First I thought, why am I gonna get two pairs of Jerf Avenue jeans when they look like they're the same color? But for reference, they are not. They are slightly different. This one, the relaxed jean, is a lot more rigid and it's got the buttons here, which I prefer a zipper just because it's faster, but is what it is. So these also sit lower. So they're like the low rise version jeans. I got it in a size 27, which are extremely loose. So remember these are 28, which I could have sized down. And these are 27, which I also could have sized down, but this gives me the option to wear them just a little higher up with a belt or lower on my hips. And it's still loose, but I have options. So again, I rather have it a little looser than me struggling to fit into jeans. That is not my vibe. That is not how I want to live. Out of both of these jeans, I feel like these I would wear longer because they're stretchier, like out, but for aesthetic wise, I prefer these better, the relaxed jeans. One of Jerf Avenue's, I think, most popular pieces are the breezy sets, which they have in like 10 different colors, designs, and I got it in black. That's the shorts, we'll talk about that in a second. In black and in white, I just went for classic. 
I have worn the black a bunch of times. With white, I'm just so nervous with, you know, getting those sweat stains, keeping it up. So like I'm saving the white for, I don't know, a date possibly. So I got both of these in a small. I love the slit at the back. I could have gone to an extra small. I could have probably gone to a medium or a large but the small just fits right, like it's oversized. It's perfect for my proportions. Let's talk about the shorts and the pants. I would say I'm an extra small, but I purchased a small just for that wiggle room, pants and shirts. But I found that with the pants, the elastic, the small was fine, but it was just, it wasn't tight because it's an elastic, but when I took it off, I could see the lines all over my stomach. You know when you wear socks and they're just like squishing your feet, the band? That's that's the same thing. So when I took this off, that's what the small was doing. So I went for a medium, which again now is a looser, but I can fold it comfortably. And this way it gives me the option to fold it without it looking weird because I found that with the small when I folded it the butt part like went right up there and it just I didn't have the option to do that and I'm petite so I don't know how the models are doing that on the website I don't know if it's just how the shorts are cut but I, I have worn these shorts multiple times more than the shirts shall we talk blazers I've got the oat in a size small and I've got the grayish in an extra small. So for the most part, I follow Matilda Jerk's sizing because I feel like we have similar body shapes and height, but I make sure to always reference the size chart because sometimes she likes it more fitted and sometimes she likes it looser. And when I've just gone based off her, I've had to make returns and exchanges and it's a process. So reference the size chart. I've had to personally return this blazer at least five times because things were just not sewn right. I'm not spending all this money for the seams to be coming apart. This one I felt was a little better constructed. I don't know if I just got like a defect item, but just take a look at everything so it's not coming apart on you and just examine. Normally when I used to buy blazers, I would get them fitted to me, but now we're all into the oversized for the past couple of seasons. It doesn't seem to be going away. So I'm running with it. I love it. The comfort, the flexibility, speaking my language. My preference out of these two, I think, is the extra small. I don't mind the small at all. I just feel like it's already oversized, but like it's exaggerated oversized, whereas extra small is just oversized. That makes sense. Now we're gonna talk about the pants, the matching pants to those blazers. Well, both of these pants I got in a size small. Both of them I could have gotten in an extra small. So they do have a bit of space to them. Both of these I've also had to get hemmed. I want there to be longevity, so I sized up to a small. Also, I love that this one has the belt loops, so if I do just wanna wear it with a crop top, I just have to add a belt, snatch the look together. This one, no belt loops, so it will have to have a shirt tucked in, and that's just how I'm gonna have to wear it for the time being. This is, I think, the Remake collection, so there's a midi skirt, and there's a brown tank. And then here we've got the shirt that ties up the front. And again, a midi skirt. And both of the skirts can be worn as a tube top. I'm definitely in my brown era right now because I feel like we all have so much black that it's just nice to like break it up with some color. I like the versatility of these, of both of these pieces. I like that I don't have to wear a bra with it. I'm a 34B. If you are larger chested, you can't really wear a bra, maybe they're wearing pasties, but I like that Jerf Avenue promotes just like being natural and free and I'm all here for that. Also, this fabric is a Cupro fabric, which is like a vegan silk alternative. Yeah, 53% Cupro and then 47% viscose. I've worn these, the brown, multiple times. You've probably seen it in a ton of my YouTube videos. This one, I have yet to wear. I've worn them for videos, but not out. Either way, I, I think they're just classic pieces. 
Maybe I'll wear this for date night just because it's a little risque. I don't know, at least for me because it's just a tie here. Whereas with the brown, like I don't mind having my back and everything open, but here like there's no, no slippage that could happen. I definitely like both of these. I also want to get a blue version of this fabric in a dress. I think it's called the Sky Midi Dress. I'm gonna put up a picture right here so you can see. So would I recommend these? Yes, do you need both of them? No, I think one is, is good enough. I've definitely got my money's worth out of the brown. I briefly wanna touch on the pajamas because they are a hit. My favorite print is this one. Am I going a little crazy? Most definitely. I just, I love PJs. I don't mess around with my sleep schedule or my sleep routine, so I wanna feel like a princess. The only thing is, be careful how you wash them. I threw this in, I think by accident, with some of my dark items. If they did have alternate sizing available, I'd probably go for the medium, just because it is skin tight. Obviously, it depends what look you're going for, but I love the material out of these, and they're just great basics to have, and I've worn them actually quite a bit, even in the summer. 92% tensile, 8% elastane, so very stretchy. It's just like, you know, fits like a glove. You will not go wrong, they go with everything, literally. <laughs> Let's talk about my two Jerf Avenue sweaters. I've actually worn this one throughout the summer because it's so, I, I guess the word is light. I got a size small, I love the slits in the arms. It's just like the little detailing. The arms are a little lengthier, but I don't know. I've just, I like it. Does it need to be just justified? No, I like it. Then we've got this one, which is a bit thicker and it comes with, well, it didn't come with, you can buy the scarf separately. I have yet to wear this because it's hot, hot, but I cannot wait to just rock this. Um, they also had white slash cream, black and gray. I know some of the colors have sold out already. I believe this was last season style, but I just wanted the brown. Like I said, my brown era, got this in a size small. Probably could have got an extra small, but with how the shoulders fit, it's just right. So I feel like the extra small might have been a little too too snug, but there's nothing that's like restricting. I love that you can button just the top here. I don't have a sweater like this. Like sure, I have cardigans where I can just button up the top, but I don't have anything like this, which is how I justified yet another sweater in my closet. And just a friendly reminder when you're shopping, although you love items from Avenue and I've showed you items that I've bought in multiple colors, but if you are somebody who's like, oh my God, I have a closet full of clothes and nothing to wear, it's probably because you're buying multiples of the same thing. So you never feel like it's new or you're switching things up because you're wearing the same thing. It's just in a different color. So I've really tried to be conscious of when I purchase things to make sure that they're different in shape, in style, in texture, just to feel like I have variety in my closet because looking back now, I probably have like seven wide leg pants at this point and I'm still buying pants. Why am I still buying pants? Because they're all the same pants. <laughs> same thing with sweaters. So I justify this because it doesn't have buttons all the way around. It's got longer sleeves. It's a cardigan, I, you know? So that's what works for me. And the fact that it has like matching sets, I do love that. This turtleneck was an item that I was like, no, I'm not gonna buy it. It's gonna be winter. I'm gonna want the sleeves and there's no sleeves. It's like, what am I doing here? I bought it. I love it. Um, I love the fact that it's versatile, that I'm able to wear it during like summer slash fall, which is what we're in. And it's also great, hopefully for winter, that will be to be determined, but it's really light fabric. And then I was thinking, why are you gonna get cream, Olivia? You're gonna get it dirty, but you know what? It's elegant. I don't know. So I, I, I haven't worn it too many times, but I have worn it enough that, and it's 100% cotton. I got a size small. Originally I had medium in my cart, which I almost wish I got, but the small is literal perfection. Like there's no gaping here at the sides. It tucks in wonderfully, like there's no extra fabric. And I think I have enough oversized items that it's okay to have something a little more fitted. And I see all the models wearing the turtleneck on 
on the outside, but I personally like to tuck it in. I just feel like it looks cleaner. Let me know what you think. I also made a Instagram poll and a lot of you guys said inside as well. It just, just looks put together, right? I don't know, it's just cozy, it's cute, I love it. And I don't have anything like this. I have turtlenecks that are super bulky and with sleeves. So this is definitely a one of a kind item in my closet. I got more pants, yay! And I'm doing two at once to speed this up. These are like very military based and I wanna say, look up the sizing for these pants because it is crazy different than the rest of their items. I got this in an extra small because the other sizes weren't available. I could have done with an extra, extra small because this is still humongous on me, but it's got the belt loops, cinch in the waist, we're good. Uh, I don't have any green pairs of pants and these have a bit more structure to them. So I like that it's not like constantly this fabric that drapes. So I'm happy with them. Now they've got like a brown version, but definitely triple check the sizing because they're huge and I had to get them hemmed. But this does give me the versatility to wear it higher up on my waist or because it's bigger on my hips without a belt. So that's for that. And then we've got, I don't know what these pants are called anymore, but they're the, I'm just gonna put an image on the screen. But these I got in a size small and they fit just right. There's no wiggle room to tuck something in. Like it is fitted to me. Originally I got the medium, which went a little lower on my hips, but they just looked off. So I was like, you know what? These are gonna be pants that are just gonna fit to me, to my waist, and it's got an elastic band on the back, so it does offer that little bit of movement, you know, so you're not restricted. This is just great with my Rufus t-shirt. It's gone th me through summer. I think out of all the Jerf Avenue pieces, I've probably worn these pants the most. And I'm, I'm obsessed. I love how they feel. It's, I think it's that Cupro fabric, yes, which is the vegan alternative to silk. No regrets here. Do I need the top? Let me know. Let's talk about the swimwear. I only have one item, which I've already packed away for the season. It is the brown bikini, which I both got in a size small, the top and the bottom. The only thing I'm finding, I like the material, I like how it fits, it's just, it's picking up a lot of lint. So I find with most bathing suits, they've got like this, almost like a shiny fabric that's like durable, not saying this one isn't. Yeah, it's picking up all the dust, all the dirt, all the fluff from like a towel, and that is one thing I don't like about the bathing suits. I've washed it once, it's held up, but I haven't worn it all summer long, so I can't talk you know, about the longevity of it. I just love that the un there's an underwire in this, so it gives a structure, and I like the tie fabrics, so it's adjustable, and I'm not fussing with, you know, you need adjust, you want things to be able to be customized to your body. You made it to the end. I know I don't want it to end either. I want more Jerf Avenue clothing. So I have a few things in the mail. Should I do a part two to this video? Let me know. In the meantime, please subscribe to my channels. I'll leave my social links on this page and I will see you here on YouTube next week, right? We have a date, right? Don't leave me hanging. <laughs>